Hey everyone, Jeff Macklin here, and today I'm going to show you how you can move around the fingerboard with freedom by working on this simple technique. per string E Dorian scale. What's that? Well, first of all, what's an E Dorian scale? First of all, our chord progression is based upon a Jing Chi tune by Robin Ford called Going Nowhere. I just love the tune, love the vibe. Chord progression is E minor, G, A, D, E minor, G, A, D. I like this nice flowing feel. It really lent itself to soloing and just taking our time. It's a nice background track. It's a medium tempo, and we can do all different rhythmic feels over the top. By the way, that's very important. If you're playing over like a fast background track, a lot of times you want to play fast over it. And if you're working on a particular technique other than speed, it can be very annoying and daunting. A nice medium loose tempo feel like this is really great for working on ideas. So if I played an E Dorian in position starting at the 12th fret, I'd have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. But one of the things I really loved when I see really great players was the freedom to move around the fingerboard. It was always inspiring to me when I would watch my favorite players and I didn't hear licks so much. I just saw them playing and moving around and making music. This is really important because when you're thinking about scales and positions, you often lock yourself into playing things that are derived from a scale or a position. This is a great way to break out of it. So I'm going to play an E Dorian scale on two strings at a time. So check it out. E. F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Let's take that again from the low string. You can check out the tab and notation. If you go over Jam Guitar Lessons, you can get that for free along with the background track. So we have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Now descending. Now your ear wants to pull the D because often if you're playing a mode and you're, you don't have any underlying harmony, your ear will almost always pull to the major scale. It just does. It's such a strong sound. You're going to hear it. So don't worry about that. It's fine. You're really just working on the notes. You will make mistakes when you're doing this. I will say it again. You'll make mistakes when you're doing this. When filming this, I made a few mistakes doing it. Did I show you that? No, eh, but I'm telling you, I made some mistakes. It's very easy to do. Here's why. It's a bit of a mind you know, because you're going up the notes of a scale, but you're going what we think is down the guitar neck. Yes, the pitches are going up, but directionally we're moving horizontally, but we're moving what we normally consider as to be downwards on the guitar. We're very used to, as guitar players, especially like three note per string fingerings, they pull us forward, right? So I'm going to play E Dorian this way. that's going the, no the way we normally think about the guitar, but this way we're playing it that way. And that is the thing that opens up the fingerboard. You are breaking out of a position and you're breaking out of a cliche that you've probably done forever. So here's where it gets sticky. So I have to know the notes. There you go. You have to know the notes. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E. Here's always the tricky, tricky point. So now you see how everything was moving back a fret or two each time. And now between the G and B string, because of the tuning difference, I'm going to stay in the same position. That's always the one that kind of screwed me up. Now, the trick about this, everyone, is not to play it fast. Who cares? It, you're learning how to move across the fingerboard and develop fingerboard freedom. Also what it does is it gives me great tonal options or timbre. So I have an E here, I have an E here, here, and they all sound different. So it's really nice to be able to choose which E I want. Another cool thing about this is it, it moves you to different parts of the fingerboard in ways you may not have been comfortable 
or have done in the past. So I'm gonna play this over the track, check it out. It's gonna play the scales. See. Nice and slow. They don't wanna mess up. Next position. And to go up to the next position. Now, if you use the link above or below, you can get those written out for you. you can get the tab and notation and the background track for this. Uh, you ultimately want to do it on your own, but I've written it out so you can get a good head start. Now, as I went through this, like when I went to this one right here, that's the tricky one. So it's over this thing between the G and the B string that adds a bit of a tricky element to me. I'm going to noodle for a second, and I'm going to talk about what I was saying about I want to hear these different sounds of E. Watch. Three, four. Right? It's kind of moving around, improvise that. Something. I'm hearing that phrase as I move across the fingerboard. Really cool. Real quick, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really means a great deal to me. And if you want this background track with a tab and notation, use the link above or below to go over JM Guitar Lessons and you get that for free. While you're there, please take a look around. I've got some great courses on mastering major triads, minor triads, using your pentatonic scales, all sorts of courses and more. So please check that out. Let's check out a nice move. All right, there's my little melodic phrase. Let's get that fingering down. So fingering wise, it's going to be B to C sharp with my one and three, D, D one and three, F sharp to G. I can just kind of mess around with that. This is what you want to do. You want to experiment with it. Don't worry about playing anything super cool. Just get used to it. Check it out. down. So what started to happen, which is pretty sweet, like I'm, I'm starting to move this way and back and forth. If we take that same idea, the same melodic phrase, just this, going down a scale, right? Going down six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go to the next position of the E Dorian scale and do the same thing. So here I have A, G, F sharp, E, D sharp. Let's hear those together. A one, two, three. Keep on going. So you see what I did? I took the same melodic pattern and took it through the scale fingering. How about I go up one and down the other? So I'm kind of starting to snake around the fingerboard a little bit. Let's hear that.
mistake in there, I left that. Just to show you, right? I'm just playing around, just working on it. Mistakes, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Just play, you're working on this thing. So if I piece it together, everything starts to open up. So now if I mix these things in with the way I would normally approach, maybe like a bluesy thing. Let's hear that. I just played a blues lick. Hey Joe, basically. Then. Back into some blues licks. So I'm seeing how I can start to mix these two together. But this is just the beginning. I'm going to do some more videos following up on how we can expand on just even this two string idea. But run through the scale fingerings as I have them written out. Gave you a little head start on that. But you do want to get away from looking at the tab and notation because you do need to know the notes. You do need to spend the time. As you know, if you guys who follow the channel, it's about doing the work. It's the only way. There's no shortcuts. So I spent a lot of time going. So I spent a lot of time doing that and I'm really, really glad I did because it expanded the way I see the fingerboard. I don't really feel like I have to play in positions or play licks anymore, but it's also a nice juxtaposition to playing the more of a position playing like a blues lick and then finishing it off with something like this. It's all part of expanding your vocabulary and really boosting these sounds. Guys I would listen to play this way. Certainly I mentioned Robin Ford, of course, Larry Carlton, Eddie Van Halen, Steve Vai, anybody good, you know, anybody good. Pat Metheny, it's always this understanding of the fingerboard not playing in position. So once again, I'm Jeff McInerney, and thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you get something out of it. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you the next time.